Hi, I'm Andrea Crawford with IBM Cloud. We're going to talk about continuous improvement. This is often the last part of the DevOps wheel, but a lot of times neglected by clients. Let's talk about continuous improvement and what the benefits are. First of all, when we're able to continuously improve the application delivery pipeline here, we're able to quantify the return on investment. And what I mean by that is when we invest in automation tools, modifying our governance process, and investing in our people to change the way that we deliver applications, we're able to quantify the velocity and the quality that we achieve. This is all about understanding with empirical data how we're getting faster and how we're improving on the number of defects that are actually getting deployed into production. But one of the other benefits of continuous improvement is all around customer or consumer experience. So this is the digital experience. And we need to make sure that we are getting better at not only becoming faster and delivering with less defects, but are we resonating with our consumers in terms of the products that are coming out of this pipeline? So with continuous improvement, we really have to define some key performance indicators or KPIs to quantify our return on investment. So some of these KPIs might be things like deployment frequency. Deployment frequency is all about understanding the number of deployments to production that are measured in days, weeks, or months. We also have something called delivery lead time. Delivery lead time is all about how long it takes to get from code all the way through to deployment. And this is typically measured in number of days. There are also KPIs around change volume, which measure the number of story points that are actually packaged into releases that make it to production. And we can also define success around mean time to recovery. And this is all about how long it takes once a defect is found in production, how long it takes to figure out that you've got a defect and then pipe it back in to the uh, software delivery lifecycle so that a fix can be coded and so that it can be deployed back into production. So this is mean time to recovery. So it's deploy to deploy. To sum all of this up, use cases are really lack of KPIs, lack of or absence of instrumentation in this pipeline to actually gather the empirical data to measure how fast or how defect free we are. So no instrumentation. And then we have the lack of being able to trace investment dollars to the return on investment. If you have issues with any of these scenarios over here, you might need to improve your continuous improvement strategy. And so as a result, we really need to be able to define KPIs to measure our success so that we can quantify return on investment. And in order to do that, we need to be able to instrument the pipeline to gather empirical data on how long it takes applications to get from all of these phases one to another. And then additionally, once we have that empirical data, we're able to identify the bottlenecks, where we're slowing down. And that will give us data-driven decisioning and information that we can use to improve on those bottlenecks. So as you see, continuous improvement is all about people, process, and tools. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to drop a line below. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, be sure to like and subscribe.